How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic sim video and in today's video guys We are gonna be finishing the work on this. I think like 0304 ish, whatever you whatever area you want to say this is uh, GT Mustang uh, if you guys haven't seen last video, I go watch the last video We went through uh, I talked about the car. I showed you guys it. I think I think I said I got it from the junkyard because I did I put new wheels uh, body panels repainted it interiors looking good Minus the seats though. I just realized minus the seats. Um, but I got the tires and everything. I'm going with the stock setup, stock tire wheel setup. Looks okay. We got chromed out uh wheels. But now it is time to actually get this thing running. And I decided since this is a GT, so it'd be a VA at minimum. Um, if it was like a coyote, obviously, or like a roush, we'd have like the supercharger or supercharger, but I think we're gonna do a supercharged V8 just because. You know, we're pulling we're technically pulling out the old v8 so we might as well put in a, a new one and turbocharge it while we're at it it makes perfect sense to me at least so let's drop off some of these tires get this drive shaft off and this looks like a pretty well done mod looks like we do actually have a dual exhaust system which is nice to see uh, a lot of the time on some of these mods this i mean obviously like i said this one is done pretty pretty well uh but a lot of these mods will have like no exhaust sometimes or they'll have i think the down pipes coming off the manifolds or they'll just have just the manifolds and then nothing else so it's nice to see a full exhaust it also helps me with the uh what do you call it horsepower numbers we can definitely get a lot more horsepower out of something when it has a full exhaust because that's the potential of like like six to seven extra pieces being able to be uh added on and giving you extra boost and horsepower so that's why i like having it pop that out all right now i can drop off or i guess i should drop these off over here all right so now i gotta do is front and rear suspensions which they look like pretty simple suspensions ones i've done like hundreds of times now uh, I'm not even gonna reuse this motor actually. I'm just gonna straight up go to a brand new uh, Just create my own engine. Nope Create my own engine there we go And we're doing a v8 so we have this option of this one right here And then we have the supercharged and turbocharged, but we're gonna do the v8 double over head cam Supercharged make sure that's the correct one not a older version. Yep. That is the correct one let's see if i have any parts okay so it looks like i'm gonna have to be buying parts from the ground up on everything so this is going to be literally brand new motor like like just absolutely every single part in this is going to be brand new uh i'm pretty sure yeah i don't think there's anything i have Jeez. there we go there's nothing i have that'll be used so i'm gonna go through here spend about five minutes making sure i purchase all the parts for the motor here and because it's going to take me a minute to search and find all these. But I'm going to search through all these. I'll buy all the parts. Performance parts too, obviously. And then I'll see you guys back here with hopefully a inventory full of parts. And we'll get cracking on the motor. Alrighty, guys. So I went through. I purchased mostly what I, I, I needed. I kind of forgot a few things. Actually, thinking about it now, I do remember one thing I forgot, which was the water pump. Um, I definitely forgot a few things. I've forgotten some stuff as I haven't played this game too much recently, but I think I got most of it. I think. Fingers crossed. Let's see. Get the crankshaft in. Let me flip this over. And I immediately remember some things I've forgotten. Yep. All right. So we need crank shaft bearing caps. Four. I think it's three, but four will work. And then we need our rod caps, connecting rod caps, eight of those. And then we should be somewhat good, you know. We've got the performance pistons. I actually should put in the crank caps first. Because obviously you want to have the uh, crankshaft secured in before you start throwing in any pistons on it. All right. Zoom in. Come on, let's go. 
Yeah, it's definitely been a little bit since I've tried to build an engine. Probably been over like a month now, so I am a little bit slower than I used to be. I used to I used to, be able to crank one of these ends out in probably less than five minutes. So I guess we'll see how long it takes me to do it now. Probably way more than that, but let's see. All right, throw this pan on, and then bottom end should be complete. Let's see, flip. I'm not sure if I have any extra alternators, but I wanted to wait and find out. We got ourselves a performance alternator. All right, let's get on what we can get on the front, and then we'll go to the top. Wow, I got a lot of V8 steering pumps that I am not going to be using. Same with engine heads. So these ones are pretty easy. So for the overwhelming amount of excess parts for the V8s I have. Wow. What is going on? 1.65 for each. It's pretty solid. Uh, cam gear is missing. I know I got some spark plugs though. All right, let's go grab cam gear just the stock for also i need to grab a v8 timing because i know i don't have anything for our timing let's grab a cover and then we'll also grab v8 engine head cover actually no i got the covers i'm pretty sure i got the correct covers and why is it not letting me Maybe I have to decide on two, probably. Now fold. So this thing was making stock 563 horsepower, I think, um, and or somewhere around there. So I'm anticipating we're probably going to be hitting close to 1K horsepower. Probably going to hit it, honestly. If this thing is actually 563 um, and not some weird funky mess like sometimes, like these sometimes are, like the mods... Some mods can actually have it so if certain things are inside the car, they have more horsepower. It's really weird, but we should be good to hit 1,000 horsepower today. I'll definitely give her a test here once I get this motor thrown in. We get the correct stuff. All right, let's left side head. And no coil covers. That's all right. You know, so I just realized, where is my music at? Let's see, what do we want to throw? What's this one on? Weird. There we go. No, not that. Yeah, I guess some of these just don't have uh, any music playing right now. It's all right. Clutch plates, mm. pressure plate. And bearing. Alrighty. Coils punched in. Throttle on. I had to grab a coil cover to the front end, and then I think I'm done. Fuel rail. Yeah, with these fuel, uh, we should definitely be hitting a thousand, actually. I'll be very sad if I don't. There we go. And 
Now, do I have my other belt? I don't. That's all right, though. All right, so you need serpentine belt. Serpentine. Spelled it serp V8. Serpentine belt A for the V8. Look for the close right here. And then I also need coil pack covers. All right, pretty easy. And coil pack covers, and then we should be ready to rock and roll. Just take a look. I got the back end done. Yeah, yeah, we should be good. All right. Pop this bad boy out. Uh, that was about, yeah, that was about six minutes in total. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Drop this bad mamma jam in there. So I thought I had some stuff repaired. There, so air filter and we need clips. I know that. Oh, uh, we'll just get our clips over here. Clip A's. You want the short stubby ones. Air filter. Let's see. ABS module. I already have a battery charging, so I don't need to grab one now. Alright, there we go. Got our anti lock braking system in. Air filter cover on. Scroll down. All right, so rad A. Let me go grab a battery and swap out the old one. Ooh, never mind. Looks like I already had a new one in me. Okay. Looks, looks like I'll have a, a fresh one always on me then. Because uh, I thought. All right. Okay, now what are we? Uh, rad. Uh, we'll go with fan housing B. I feel like this is going to be a B. Fan housing A. That's all right. Still got a bunch of those. All right. So it looks like the engine compartment is all buttoned up. I got to do gearbox and then muffler and we should be good. Okay. Not going to close that yet. We will have to go in here into the custom gearbox by another V8 gearbox. Keeping these guys in business on my own. Push in this much horsepower. There's no way we'll be able to get anything really substantial out of the stock gearbox. So let's swap her over. So we need front exhaust pipe V8A and then some cats. Oops. Front exhaust pipe. V8A. There's definitely a lot here. Hmm. Weird that I couldn't find it. Grab two middle mufflers, two catalytic converters, two rear V8 mufflers. Mm, I'm going to bank on having those and then also having exhaust pipe C's. We'll see. Exhaust pipe V8A. See, I definitely did not see that. Yeah, no, definitely did not see that one in there. It's all right, though. Definitely didn't buy the right one there. Front exhaust pipe, not a... V8. Oh, I see why I messed up. All right. Okay, give me one more. Need to repair that drive shaft. All right, so there's going to be some repaired parts on here, definitely. 
Uh, rear muffler Mustang. Okay, I did not know that was in this. There we go. So we got some performance parts out of here. Oh, I doubt it's going to be in here, but let's check it. Let's just check it. Oh, nice. 4% gain with both of them together. Okay. And let me tweak this back here. Don't want no rusty fuel. And then I think that buttons up the entire motor. Everything should run. I'm going to get the... Here, I'm going to trade out the brakes really quick. Uh, the brakes and the bearings. Because I want to run this thing on the drag strip, but I don't want to do the full suspension yet. Hop to the back here. Pull out this axle. I know me doing what I like, like taking off all this stuff isn't really going to help me on the drag strip that much. It's probably not even going to affect the way it sways. Probably just having the awful uh, springs in the front and back is probably just going to make it so much worse than me doing this. But I want to at least have some braking, you know, keep something, something somewhat realistic. Um, let's see, brake. Four of those, four of those. Two, two, four, hubs, hub caps, two, hub bearings, two, and then solid rear drive axles, two. Then I think we're good to go. That should be everything we need. Boom, boom. Got the front and the rear and back. 16 is pretty small. Probably could have bumped it up to 17s, like I said last time, but actually probably could have done 18s, but that's all right. All right, Ribbon Classic. Yeah, definitely having nicer rotors on there helps the overall look of the uh, car a lot, too. Eliminates a lot of the rust you're seeing. All right, back driver's side done. Zoom me out. There we go. All right. And uh, with this, get the wheel on, and then we should be good to go and test out the horsepower. Oh, wow, I gotta change this music. This thing is crazy. Uh, what is drum and bass stack? It's probably gonna be even crazier. Right, let's kick it onto the good old classic. All right, so should be able to move this straight to Dino with no problems. It's got oil in it. I think. I think we'll be good. Okay, so 491. So maybe not a thousand. Probably uh, 890, 920-ish. We'll see. Let's get her running, though. See what she can put down. Also realize I don't have drag tires on this, so not going to be good on the drag ship, but we'll still test her out and see what she can put down. 914 yeah that's about what i thought about 890 to 920 somewhere in there 86 percent gain uh not as good as i was i was hoping for the 90 percent or higher but you know that will uh that will do just this little uh little v8 definitely uh definitely can put it down let me move this up let me move one of these one of these cars up i'll move my f-150 that i gotta rebuild straight up Things missing the entire front half. 
Back this up. All right, now let's grab some interior. So they have Mustang stuff. They do. All right, I'm gonna yoink this and this. I realize this is obviously not, that's like exactly the same steering wheel this thing should have. Uh, but we're gonna trick it out. We're gonna give it some, some modern aesthetic. Obviously this thing also had, mine also had cloth seats. This one probably, I think the, the V8 GT has leather. As you can see from the back there, definitely leather. All right, let's trick out the gearbox. So definitely gonna be backing this up to about a 60 mile an hour. 2.45 ratio. Give me about a 60 to a 94 to probably a 125, 155. Then 170, and then 170 to 220. We'll see if this thing can actually kick it up to 220. Highly doubt I'm going to get this thing to 220 with what I have, with the tires I have on it. No, I don't think there's any way I can get it off off to do 220. There's, I, I just don't think it's going to happen. But we will take it with us to the drag ship. We'll see how this thing runs. It's going to sound good. I mean, you just know it. Let's see it. Come on, baby. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we are bouncing. That is uh, not a good indicator. Also, I realized I don't have plates on here. I should probably get plates on. Kind of like it without plates, though. I do like the rear of these cars, though. The back. Oh, it's it's very nice. Okay. All right, we're definitely going to spin out and be everywhere, so. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, he crashed on the course. Uh, well, that is uh, not ideal. <laughs> what does it look like? Oh, yeah. And, yeah, and free roam. This is... This is not good. All right, guys. Well, uh, we're going to end it there. Um, I definitely have to switch out. Wow, this is not good. I have to switch out the uh, the tires. I cannot run on these tires. There's no way I'll be able to do this. Uh, but hey, look at that. We got a uh, almost a sub. We got sub two seconds, zero to 30, which is uh, not too terrible. But uh, there we go, guys. I'll leave it here. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I definitely need to switch out the ties, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.